welcome back to another tutorial on making a freeze frame opener. In our last video, we finished up the transitions, the freeze frame effect, and also teached how to improve the ambience using preset effect. If you haven't watched that yet, be sure to click the link in the upper right to check it out, so that you can keep up with this video. And in today's video, we are going to add more motion and interesting text effect to the freeze frame effect. Let's get the video started. Launch video pop logger. In the last video, we created the freeze frame effect, but the static effect is boring and dull. So we will use the motion icon in the toolbar to give it some movement. First, select the background image. Click on motion to enter the motion editor panel, in which you will find a bunch of motion presets to choose from. And I'm gonna go with the zoom rotate preset effect. Click on it. You will see three keyframes are created automatically. Let's first have a preview. The effect here goes from the original state to zoom rotate and then back to the original state. And I don't need it to go back to the original state, so we select the third keyframe first. Click delete keyframe to remove it. Then select the second keyframe. Drag it to the last frame position. This way, we can get a continuous zoom rotate effect all the way from the original state. Next, we we'll select the second keyframe and edit the parameters. For example, if I want it to rotate in another direction, we change the value in rotation and adjust it to a positive number. Then, we we'll click on the frame control, define the frame range. This completes the motion. Preview the effect. Well, not bad. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Now, you should know that when the background moves but the characters don't, it will also create a strong sense of disconnection. So let's go ahead and select the character image. Click on the motion icon. Here, we also select a zoom rotate preset for it. Edit the keyframe using the same method to achieve continuous zoom rotate effect. While the difference here is that we don't need to adjust the rotation value here, but just let it stay at a default minus 20 degrees. We just need to edit frame control parameters to the right value. This will give us a nice motion effect. Click apply when we're done. Let's look at the clip again. Isn't it much better than the static one at the beginning? Apply the same method on this freeze frame effect. This way, we can further enhance the dynamics and the integrity of the video. Now, we open the title panel in the top left. Select the favorite title preset. Drag it to the subtitle track. Adjust the duration and the position to align with the freeze frame effect. Then, we go to the inspector on the top right. Add the text content. Choose the right font. Adjust the size of the text. Drag the slider bar to adjust the text to the right position on the screen. After finishing that, we click the Edit Text button to enter the Advanced Editing panel. On the left side of the interface, we have the Style panel. You can switch to a desired font here. Then, go to the right side of the interface to further adjust the parameters. Then you can also use the Animation panel to add a dynamic effect to a text. For example, I will use a rotate in here. 
Similarly, you can also go to the animation time error on the right side and adjust the duration of the animation effect. Let's preview. Once you are satisfied with the result, click Apply to return to the main interface. We can use the Ctrl C to copy the other text, and then use Ctrl V to paste at the point of the second freeze frame effect. Adjust the duration, and go to the inspector and add the text. Adjust the position of the text in the frame. And now we can have a great freeze frame open effect. Alright, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know more about other add-on tips or what has been going on with VideoPro Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.